In last tutorial, we prepared the base of the building. In this tutorial, we will add roofs and details to the top of the tower. There are many ways to create roof, but I start mine by modeling pitch section of the roof first. By excluding the top part of the building and then welding the center parallel vertexes to create sharp ridge of the roof. Repeat process on the apps and the side entrance before you start adding details to the roof. This is a very good time to adjust the shape of the pitched section of the roof, if needed, since we are dealing with very simple mesh structure. Please remember to save your work from time to time. You do not want to start from scratch if Maya crashes. Next, let's extrude actual roof structure for each part of the building. In order to have better access to the main part of the building, use layers. Right click and select face component. Next, select sides of the main building and extrude them first to add thickness to the roof. To complete extrusion, switch to any tool like move tool. Then select roof ridges on each side and extrude them. Finally, select eaves on the roof on each side and extrude again. Go back to your layers, hide main building and unhide apps and side entrance. Repeat process on small roofs. This time you do not need to extrude back ridges that face main building. You need to extrude eaves on both sides. Repeat process one more time on site entrance. Now you can clean geometry by removing polygonal faces that are invisible to camera. We do not need them since we are modeling external parts of the building. That includes bottom parts of each structure. This will save a bit of time when you work on UV mapping and textures. Next, complete top of the tower by excluding bottom section first and then top section second. Select every second face starting from the corner and exclude them. As you can see, the top section is a bit different, so we need move few edges to prepare corner section for extrusion. Select edges, go to transformation constraint options and choose edge slide. This will prevent you from changing shape of the mesh as you slide edges to the sides. To keep uniform space we will use scale tool instead usual move tool. After completing transformations and before excluding corners of the tower, please remember to turn off transformation constraint options. Next, extrude in center of the tower top. Now, again, we can delete those extra faces that are invisible to the camera. In the next video tutorial, we'll keep working on this project and we will add additional elements to the scene. Thank you!